Hi Year 11s, here are 10 tips for GCSE Results Day 2023. Now Results Day is almost here, it's on the 24th of August and A-level results is on the 17th and this year national grades are going to drop because of the inflation in the past couple of years because of Covid and your nerves will already be high. So here are some tips for GCSE Results Day that hopefully you can benefit from. The first one is to actually get some sleep before Results Day. By doing this, not only are you quickly whiling away what feels like ages till you wait, but it also means that there is less overthinking and less anxiety because you're just sleeping, you're not actively thinking about anything. My second tip is to, if you are overthinking about your grades, writing down what you think you've gotten. Now, this might sound contradictory because you think you've done bad in an exam but once you have written down what you think you've gotten it takes a massive weight off your shoulders as you're a little bit more prepared for what is to come on results day and as a part two to this exercise you can also write down which grades you're happy with to get and which grades you're not this definitely helps calm your nerves and when i did it it actually felt much better on results day when i got more than what i expected to get Tip number three is a quick admin tip and it's just to be organised beforehand. So where are you collecting your results? What time you're collecting your results? Who are you collecting your results from and who are you going with to get your results? Um, you've had to already wait so very long for your results so there's no more time to waste and this includes also organising for applying to sixth forms and colleges, um, making sure that you're either doing the digital applications or you're physically going to the sixth forms to give your results in. Tip number four, and this is speaking from experience, is to remember that most people think that they have done worse in an exam than they actually have done. Now you might be thinking, why is this? Well, post exams, you tend to only focus on what you have gotten wrong and what other people have said about that exam. And this then manipulates the whole image of the exam in your mind. It could have gone fine before, but because of the constant reminders that you got something wrong, it changes the whole image. And gradually, the exam becomes worse in your mind the more you think about it. Tip number five. Another thing to remember is that your year group got very minimal support despite being affected by COVID. It was trying to, you know, transition things back to normal, but unfortunately you guys were affected in that. So comparing your grades to past year groups is just unfair to you. So I wouldn't recommend wasting your time doing this. Number six is to make sure that your phone is charged fully for the day itself. You don't want to be in one of those situations where you are contacted by a million people, even your sixth forms perhaps, and you can't get back to them. This can have devastating impacts and also just sharing your success with everyone, your loved ones and people you want to share your success with. And this is leading on to the next tip number seven, which is to not get pressured into sharing your results when you are not comfortable. Now, a lot of people do get pressured into this, but just remember that they are your results. You have earned them and everybody else has earned their own results. You can do whatever you want with your results. And this includes politely declining to share them, especially if you're going to a different sixth form or college, you're never going to see these people again. So the slight embarrassment will last better in the long run. And if you feel uncomfortable, then don't try not to get forced into doing something you don't want to do. Tip number eight, which brings me on to a similar point from the previous, is to not compare your grades with other people who are getting them or your siblings. It might even be, you know, your parents comparing you, your family, your friends. And you just need to remind yourself that you have different strengths and weaknesses from different people. You have different mental capacities and there will always be someone better than you, someone worse than you. So if you really were to consider everyone who's better or worse than you then really it doesn't matter does it tip number nine is if you are leaving don't forget to say bye to your teachers and friends 
what tends to happen is everyone gets so wrapped up in their results that you sometimes forget to say goodbye. So here is your reminder to do that when you have the chance. And my final tip, I just wanted to say that these exams do not determine your university, your work. You still have many more chances to shine and, you know, excel in your life. And I know you will. Best of luck, Year 11s. You guys can do this. And feel free to tell your GCSE results or how you're feeling about your results in the comments on results day. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.